Anyway, speaking of amazing physiques, Jey Uso gets his cardio. When he does his entrance, boy, they did it to him again. He comes from the outside, the opening shot, down the f***ing stairs, and everybody's yeeting and waving. And by the time he gets in the ring, you can tell it, it's good that he can only say like three or four, he blurts out three or four words and they'll go yeet. So he has time to, to breathe in and then, and then I want a title, yeet. And then I beat his ass, yeet. Because that's all he's got to win for after he goes through this whole thing. And basically he just said, I lost the Intercontinental title, so I cost them the tag team title. And now I want to talk to one specific Oos. And boom, and Jimmy Uso's music plays, and out he comes. And Jimmy thanks Jay and said, we need to be together because they ain't the ones. And then Jay says, well, we not the ones either. And that is a quote. We not the ones either. Because a lot of people don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. But then, <laughs> Brian, did you listen closely to this or did you kind of zone out with the eating? Because it, it seemed to me that Jay cut kind of a confusing promo. On, you couldn't tell whether he's happy with Jimmy or not. Through through this middle part here. Yeah, right? I mean, I thought, you know, he was acting like he was still kind of mad, but it was also apparent that he was going to forgive him in his own unique way. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the fans started chanting Uso. And and basically, that's that's the thing, is that there's still some tension here wasn't the the you know the the most succinct of promos but uh jimmy tells jay to come to smackdown to talk to roman and jay says that he will be there and once that they got that bit of news out here came the tongas and they jumped them and but the usos were fending off the tongas until solo sent jacob in and then they beat him up a little bit and they tied Jimmy up in the ropes and they were going to bash Jay's head in with the the ass in the face in the chair and the the ass in the face in the chair and the, they, they we could make a children's song out of that. No, we can't. Well, you could pitch in too and can I you will not children? have anything to do with this song. No. What do, do they like the ass in the face in the chair in the ring in the Must be a southern thing. Anyway, the ass in the face or the chair and the thing in the ring? Either or. And the sky's up above <laughs> in the chapel of love. Let me tell you about the Okay, 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 okay. At the okay. okay, but anyway, so what happened was Jay clocked Jacob in the face with the chair and the Usos cleared the ring. And we were nearly 20 minutes into the program by the time that this whole thing resolved itself. That's my comments on that. Yeah, I mean, it was good storyline stuff. They both got the intensity down. They're over, so they could say nothing, and it seems to work. <laughs> I'm just thinking of any other television show that I've ever been on in my life. They would be screaming if the to say... What needed to be said if the guys took 20 fucking minutes to get that accomplished. But And Raw's only two hours now, but they st they're still milking. They're, they're utterly milking the cow for everything they get. And who can blame them? They're swimming in money. They're building a money bin, a Scrooge McDuck money bin right next to the, the mountain where they keep the, the tapes in the fucking cave. Did you hear about this? I have this, not heard of this. Is, this has been proven. They're building a money bin. Proven. It's been proven. Well, everybody else gets to believe what they want to believe. Why can't I believe some batshit nuts stuff?